What was that I just witnessed? What was it? That, that was like a Shakespearean tragedy, but written by monkeys on typewriters. That, that was arguably the worst political speech I've ever witnessed. I think it was Tim. I don't know, maybe I'm just blinded by my dislike of him. I, I don't know what I expected, but... I mean, I mean imagine if you'd travelled to see that speech. Well, by the looks of it, not many people did. I, I, don't know, I don't know what that speech was. Who could possibly be inspired by that? And it, it's not like it's one of his rallies. Someone wrote that. He rehearsed that. Even the crowd looked pissed off. It was, it was anodyne. It was, it was nothing. It was painting by numbers. And the painting was of an America that I'm not sure even exists. A post-apocalyptic dystopian nightmare. American carnage. What the fuck does that mean? Sounds like a wrestling tournament. If, if I'd voted for Trump, Tim, I think I'd be fucking furious right now. The game's up. He's a fake. He, he says he's going to drain the swamp. He's anti-establishment. He just said it. He just said he's handing back democracy to the people. And, and that's what people voted for. Fine. So why is he appointing a motorcade of Goldman Sachs, oil industry and super rich into the White House to run the country? Drain the swamp? He's appointing far-right apologists, climate change deniers, an education secretary who is so inept she sounds like she'd have trouble spelling education. He's hiring people with close links to murderous and authoritarian enemies of America. He's got this unexplainable boner for Putin. It's fucked up. Drain the swamp. The entire premise of his campaign was based on a lie, as was that speech we just witnessed. Why aren't Trump voters up in arms about this? He, he's demonstrably a hypocrite. He calls his illiterate and nonsensical musings on Twitter transparency, but he won't show us his tax returns. It's sleight of hand. It's fakery. If you voted for him, you've got much more invested in him than the people who think he's a brainless opportunist. Whether he's your man or not, you want your president to be accountable for his actions and possible mistakes. That's the press's job. But when they do it to Trump, he accuses them of fake news, dishonest media. It's dangerous. And I, I'm not saying this is dangerous if you don't like Trump. I'm saying it's dangerous for everyone. Dishonest media. He's the fucking liar. It's bizarre behaviour. He, he can't take any criticism. It's, it's egomaniacal, which means he's unlikely to be able to separate the needs of the country from the needs of his own ego. He's easily provoked. That, and that doesn't make him a strong leader. It makes him weak, easily played, unable to handle inconvenient truths. L look at him. Look at him. Fucking prick. That is the commander-in-chief. Good tie, though. Look, I, I don't want to just hurl insults at him, but look, he's a, he's a brattish, subliterate bragger, ill-informed, privileged, self-righteous, entitled mummy's boy. I'm trying to remain objective here, but he, he is a hyper-sexed, gurning slug who mistakes brash for charisma, who thinks popularity matters more than integrity, that diplomacy has no place in politics, a bloated, incandescent, lobotomized sexual predator, a paranoid and supremely unqualified demagogue, a massive 70-year-old cheese puff what's it with tiny, wandering hands, an arrogant, ill-informed, oversized oompa lumpa, a whinging, braying, misogynistic, know-nothing spunk bubbler, fat-headed egomaniac with a skull full of fetid shit smelling, yep, yep. Welcome back. It's inauguration day and President Trump has just delivered his inaugural address. Let's go straight back to Washington for some reaction.